Hey gang, uh, today we're doing, this has been a requested video a fair few times, finally able to do it thanks to the Patreons, because I don't hate these knives, but I never would have gone and bought two of the exact same knife pattern, with the only variation being the steel. So this is case, one of them is chrome vanadium, one of them is true sharp. Um, the only way you can tell is by looking at the spay blade on each of these knives, and the CV is chrome vanadium, and the SS is the true sharp stainless steel. So this is like, I don't even know what pattern this is. I think it's just a trapper pattern or something from Case. Not a big traditional knife guy. Um, they're knife, they're <laughs> knife. They're nice, uh, nicely put together handle-wise. But I'm not sure if this is a thing. Both of them have really rough blades. Like the blades are like really, like they, like they almost like serrated blades. They're really, really roughly burred and um, full of catches and they really almost don't cut out the box at all. Uh, and this is the same with all four blades on all four knives. And these are from like a reputable seller from DLT Trading. Um, so they're not like dodgy cases or anything like that. But yeah, they're, I was a bit, bit kind of miffed at that. I thought these were supposed to be like really well fit and finished. But yeah, just you can feel and you can see even like fluff accumulates along that raggedy knife edge. So the CV and the uh, SS ones are both sort of just really like, really sort of chunky. Uh, teary edges, so anyway, not the best first impression, sorry, but um, overall they're pretty nicely put together in terms of how they're actually assembled, and of course, edges can be fixed. That's what sharpening is for. So, what we're going to do is we're going to put the same edge on both of these. We're going to do a work sharp 20 degree edge on the true sharp and on the chrome vanadium, and we're going to cut rope with the front portion of the knives. The knife, of, I'm going to use the, um, the spay blade of the knife to do it because that just feels like a better, a better cutting shape for pressing against paper and uh, so pressing against the cutting board and then um, yeah we'll have some idea of how long one will last compared to the other. Uh, these are actually, I don't have a sharpening system that has a pen knife holder. I've got a Tormek but I reckon the Tormek could just savage these. Uh, I might see how I feel about that later but I'll just do the workshop for today and we'll go from there. Uh, stay, stay tuned, let's uh, have a bit of a montage perhaps. You know, I am actually fairly surprised. I thought that the differences would be huge. I thought the, um, which, it was hard to even keep track of which one I used. Um, the SS got 60 cuts and the CV got 70 cuts. Um, I was thinking that this would be like Victorinox level junk still. And this would be probably about where it's at because it's, you know, lower carbon, Carbon still still there, so there's nothing else in it apart from really. There's a trace amounts of vanadium and some other really tiny bits of things, but very, very basic. They say it's like a version of 1086 carbon. This looks more like a 440, uh, sorry, 440s type stainless steel uh, on paper, like with its makeup and stuff. Um, it must just be a harder heat treat or a good heat treat of it, because I was thinking this would be like Victorinox 40 cuts, um, and they're really not that far apart. Um, it's the same blade with the same edge on it. Like I, it, you know, you can be pretty, like you can eyeball it pretty well. Um, and yeah, they both sort of started at the same level of sharpness. It's pretty fascinating. I, um, I might do this again a couple of times um, just to make sure. But um, yeah, I don't think this one, the CV may not have such crazy extra cutting uh, over the true sharp, which is kind of baffling to me, kind of blows my mind a bit. Um, but you know, it's a little bit more carbon, yes, but then this has a little bit more vanadium. Uh, it's all very tiny amounts of stuff, but there you go. 
Um, so 60 for the stainless, the True Sharp, and 70 for the CV, the Chrome Vanadium. But I'm going to do it twice more, I think, with the same knives, work sharp edge again, and then I'll have probably like a best out of three because um, I've got the opportunity here with two of the exact same knife to get a little bit more data, like almost do it like um, a bit more scientific. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, so yeah, let's get to a bit more testing. All right, second um, second test. I'll just rub the schmutz off. Just loaded that uh, workshop blue belt with a little bit of um, compound, just to bring it to a polish. Been doing that lately. All right. Um, so what have we got here? CV to being super sharp, and uh, the SS, the true sharp, to being super sharp. Rope cut uh, version two. Let's get to it. Starting with the SS. The SS. Alrighty, so on the second go round, um, the SS got to seven, uh, 65, uh, which is fun. The SS got to 65, and the CV got to 77. Um, sort of limped over to 77. It was pretty ragged through its last couple of cuts, but it made a couple of compelling enough slices. Give it a couple of extra goes. Um, I'm going to do it one more time. I'm going to get the edge back again on the workshop and see what the third bit of data suggests. Um, it's sort of a bit of a trend there, I guess. The CV seems to be holding just a little bit longer than the uh, True Sharp. So. So check out uh, one more time round. Sixty-six, sixty-five on that one once again. Alrighty, and uh, 76 on that one. So, is that the same as last time? I stopped at 70, no, it was 75 just now. I stopped at 75, I was going five increments. Oof, heads a mush. Um, so yeah, that is overall, like, across all three tests, so that's six cut tests with two different knives, um, three each. Um, the differences aren't as massive as I would have thought they were gonna be, and I've, I probably owe, the proponents of True Sharp. I owe the True Sharp Guild of America an apology because I've probably ragged on this steel a couple of times just going off that that sort of common knowledge that people sort of have. Oh, True Sharp sucks. It's like butter knife steel. It doesn't seem to be. I, I don't know. It's cut a whole lot of rope. Like it's cut a good amount of rope as much as a good other stainless steel uh, really. And um, this has done fine. Like it's done what a carbon steel would do. But then I think the comparison comes in the Rockwell. I've read that this Rockwell is only about 56 and this might even be a bit higher. I don't know, being a stainless. I'm really not sure. I'll see what the Z Knives app has to say, actually. Because the elements are quite different. Like the um, the True Sharp has about half the carbon as the other one. So Case Chrome Vanadium has 0.86% carbon. Now, okay, so it still only runs at 55 Rockwell, the CV, according to this. Um, so that is probably an explanation as to why it's not, you know, completely leaps and bounds ahead of the, the, the uh, SS, the stainless. Because um, the SS is, well, Case uses Latrobe 420HC under the, this alias. That's exactly what it says. So this is 420HC um, in a knife blade, which, you know, is has been great and has been pretty poor depending on the treatment. Uh, poor Boss can get this up to about 67 as well. Um, moving on though. Um, I think, I'm not sure if I can keep these tests in with the rest of my tests. I'm not sure if I could say that if you put this steel on like a, 
because you must understand the way that I've been cutting in this test is the only way I can really cut with a small pen knife like this. This is doing all of the board work. This part of the blade right here um, is the only part that's really cutting the board and the part that I'm measuring includes from back here uh, all the way down to the board part that's cutting the So I think these knives have been under a little less pressure on the board as the rest of my blades are when I do these tests just because usually it's like a roll cut or it's a push cut the belly is wearing it a bit more evenly I think um, whereas the part that's not touching is really only going through rope which I've, I've been led to believe the more I do these tests I think that the board has just as much to do with the edge loss well not maybe just as much but it, it contributes fairly well to the edge loss as well so I'm probably not happy to put these with the massive list of my other ones just treat this perhaps as an isolated like this versus this because they are quite different to most other pocket knives that I've tested they you know even just doing the test with them I was probably doing it in a fairly different way it's probably in line with you know there might be five to ten cuts difference if the say if you made like a delicate blade out of this stuff and out of this stuff but um, and then I probably would include it but just as it is I think it's probably best to treat this video as like a, a standalone maybe um, you know and it says something about the steels of course but I wouldn't go as far to say that this is going to be say what else has scored about 67 um, what else scored about 67 pretty much uh, 14 C 28 N did it? No, that got a little bit more, I think. At any rate, there's other pretty... Uh, Paul Boss 420HC got this got this score, I think. Or, you know, roughly this score. I'm not sure if this would be as good as that steel if you put it in a normal size knife blade. Like, say if the Buck Vantage that I tested the Boss 420 in had um, this steel. Yeah, I just don't know. Um, and there's probably no way I can really test that because, you know, this is, as I said, quite a different cutter. Quite a different cutter. So, my advice... Treat this as a data point on these two steels rather than jumping in and saying this one's com rather than start comparing them to the rest of the steels that I've ever done. That's just how I feel at the moment. I'm not sure. What do you reckon? Uh, I just think, yeah, um, as it part so the rope is here, right? And it's sort of doing a bit of a lever cut against the rope, and then this belly part here is touching on the touching on the board and kind of pulling past through the rope. It was a much different cut. That's just, um, I'm just trying to be as honest as I can here, just because. I know it's all bro science, but this one just did feel a little bit different to do this test, as the tests usually are. So just laying that out there just so, I don't know, keep it all above board-ish. Cool, so um, I think the overall result though is pretty surprising in itself. Like I think most of us were probably assuming that the True Sharp would be garbage compared to this. And compared to this, it's actually not too far behind. So there you go. I, if I was to buy a case knife now, um, I would probably get it in the True Sharp because as a collector, uh, if I was collecting them, I would prefer the low maintenance side of it because uh, this CV stuff goes brown straight away, which is appealing in its own way. But if you're like a collector of case knives, you probably want to get the True Sharp. If you're a user, this was easier to sharpen. Um, it took less passes on the workshop to sharpen. like. Uh, it took the edge easier, but then the workshop's quite easy to put edge on. If you're just hand sharpening, you might want to stick with the CV. I think you'll have a bit of an easier time um, than the True Sharp, but not huge amounts anyway. There's just not leaps and bounds between any of the attributes of these steels so far, apart from stainlessness. That's, that's about all I've got to say about them so far. Alright guys, catch you in the next video. Bye now.